Yeah, it was an awesome experience. Uh, it's not every day you get to play a, a club team in Latin America. Uh, they're a team that play probably one of the best leagues in the world with uh, high caliber players. So it's exciting to to showcase ourselves. Uh, I think we stood tall and, and, and we matched their intensity and, and, and their soccer, soccer savviness as well. Yeah, um, it was good. It was good. Uh, you know, we had a couple of days off, so and I was a little bit sick, so it was a little rest in the beginning, but I think uh, it got better through the minutes. Same question I ask everybody else. Do you, can you take something from this match specifically for you? And you know, obviously, you're your main guy stopping balls from going in the net. So, what can you take from this game to move forward for the rest of the season? I think, first of all, collectively, we can take a lot from this. I think if we play compact like that throughout every game in the USL, we're going to be even tougher to beat. Um, we have a great team, and we have to bring that intensity every day, every game, and I think we'll be all right in the in our in our league. As far as the second half, do you look at the first half and kind of see what worked, what didn't work, kind of the mix, and kind of focus on that kind of going forward? Maybe? Yeah, of course. Uh, you got to read the game. Uh, obviously, you're up 1-0, so the tendency is to start dropping. Uh, you know, the, the game uh, shows you what to do. You know, as, as, as the game goes on, you get tired, obviously. So we started dropping off. But I think we we need to take away from this, and especially down the line when, when the games matter the most, you know, playoffs and all that stuff. Uh, I think these experiences are going to help us out.